Greetings and salutations YouTube, it's Adrian here. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. Welcome to another edition of Goodwill Hunting where we go to various Goodwills and see what treasures we can find today. We're sitting in front of a Goodwill boutique that I'm super excited to go into. And if you guys enjoy thrifting and like thrift hauls and vlogs, don't forget to subscribe so you'll be updated when I do post new videos. And I do post videos every single day at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And if you would like to and haven't done so already, don't forget to add me on Instagram and Facebook. It's Hadrian, just like it's spelled here. Um, you can follow me for behind the scenes, thrifting action. And I post like um, handbag sale updates there. So if anyone is interested in any of those, don't forget to check out my shop too at itshadrian.com to see what I have for sale. But without further ado, let's go into the store and see what we can find. Also today I'm rocking my medium size Perenza PS1 and my Birkenstocks that I got from the Goodwill. Ooh, I'm gonna look at that wallet right there in a bit. They still have these Givenchy shoes that are so fab. Oh, it's just like a plastic clutch. This is interesting. It's like made of metal. You guys, check out this gorgeous Dooney bag. Oh, it's a little pricey though. It is $40. But it's really nice. It's like a cool, like, burnt natural leather look. There is like a little something on the bottom, but I don't know. It's gonna leave that there. Think about it a little bit. There's a satchel. This one is Donna Buckman. One on over here. Mm, nothing I haven't already seen. This is a fake coach. No CCs inside, but there's CCs on the outside. Oh, God. Is this a coach wallet? Kind of looks like it. Oh, I'm pretty sure this is. It's missing the dongle though. $5.99 is not a bad price. Oh, they have a little Kipling down here in black. But it's missing the little Kipling monkey. It's a little pricey. It's $13 and it's a little worn in the inside. So I might skip on that. Sienna Richie. Just going through these handbags, seeing what they have. Dia Neal. Betsy Johnson. Oh, this is really cute. I like that print. This one's going to be another thing to tackle, though. A lot of bags in this here trunk. Ooh, got some jumpers. All right, I think I'm gonna need two hands for this. I'm gonna go through here and report any of the good findings to you guys. They have this really cool looking Christopher Con bag. This one's $25. I kind of like the look of it. Right? Here's a fossil crossbody for $20. And it's a vintage looking coach bag. Wonder how much this guy is. Ooh, $40. Pricey. I'm looking through these wallets really quick. I like the color of that one. Here's that Louis Vuitton wallet. In person, like the color kind of looks a little off on the print, so. And there's a coach. This is kind of cute. Wonder what this guy is. Laundry by Shelly Siegel. Guess, more coach, coach. No, that's that fake toy brush that's been there for a while. Those purple Ugg flip flops that are furry are like amazing. 
Here's some Versace. Oh, this little globe is so cute. This stand is pretty nice too. $10. Oh, this Looney Tunes Elmer Fudd Chia Pet. Vintage. Oh, this is pretty. They always have the coolest knickknacks here. Other than these haunted dolls, of course. But look at these Barbies. Emerald Enchantress. Special edition winter evening. 40th anniversary. I think my mom actually might have that one. Oh, Promenade in the Park. Classic romantic interlude Barbie. Oh, that is fancy. <laughs> that is that is Shirley Temple plate. And she's in a giant cup face thing. More dolls. A beanie baby. Oh, this plate's pretty. Ah, uh, Spode. Love Spode. Do they have any unicorn Spode plates? That's what I really want. Spode plate with a unicorn on it. $12.99 for this set. Churchill? Churchill's fancy. It's expensive. Whoa, someone really went through, <laughs> through these books. They kind of got beat up. Carpenters. Looking for more fashion books. I've actually found a lot of really good ones here, like recently. So I'm like always looking through these just in case a new one pops up. But looks like no luck today. All right, you guys just left the store. Now let's go home and I'll show you guys what I got. So we're back at the house and I'm super excited to share with you guys what I got at the store today. I'm super excited. So this store that we went to was a Goodwill Boutique. And I just love the Goodwill Boutique so much. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, especially like more like hardcore thrifters, but I still love going <laughs> anyway. And I always feel like I find some pretty cool stuff. Um, so I'm just gonna keep going regardless. And you guys should just follow your heart and go to whatever thrift stores you want. But I found some really exciting stuff, um, and I didn't show everything in the, um, that when I was at the thrift store, because I found out that they had, like, a secret stash behind the register, like, someone else was looking at them before I came in, and I guess they just put them on the floor, and then <laughs> they didn't put them up, like, they are, they had them hanging, I guess, and they only had a couple other things hanging, but then, like, I was at the register, and I was, like, talking to the lady over there, and she was like, Oh yeah, we also have these! And I was like, what? So it was amazing! Um, so super excited. Um, okay, so let me start off with this. Okay, so this is such a cute little coach crossbody bag. Um, I like it because it's very modern. It has almost like a Proenza-esque kind of feel. Kind of like, um... I don't know, like it's more modern. This one was $20, it was a little pricey, but I thought that um, the style of bag was really cool and I think it was like well worth it. And it's more of like a modern and newer style as well. It's not like an older vintage piece. So I was really excited about this. There, air, there are like scratches on the hardware, but honestly it doesn't really bother me too much. And there's a little bit of like lightning right there, but I think it just needs conditioner. So, um, $20 has a crossbody strap and I think it's really gosh darn cool. I also really like the color. It's kind of like a grayish brown. I'm going to call it grayish. So, um, I was really excited to have found this particular bag. Um, up next, I have this Michael Kors little, um, tote. And this one is in a like an off white color and then it has leather handles with the chain as well and a, like a light gold chain and it has a little dongle and this one is it just needs a little cleaning I think it's not like in bad shape at all um, it's really really cute it's like the jet set tote except I think it's a little bit more elevated with the chain 
And the inside only has like a little like pen mark in the bottom, I think. So I think this was a really good one. This one was again a little pricey at $25, but still great, I think. So cute. So those were my first two. Okay, then I found this really cute vintage coach. Let me see where it's made. Handcrafted. I can't see it. Ah, oh, Italy. <laughs> I was like, I can't read. So this was made in Italy. So um, this is very vintage because not um, like the coach bags that were made in Italy were from like a while ago. So this one is a stunner. Um, and it, it's like a Kelly like silhouette and the leather is so gorgeous and in great shape. It is missing the crossbody strap. But if you have like a belted crossbody or even if you have like a really pretty like long chain that you can like connect like, connect them to the inside or to each other and then like ba bam then you can have like a really cute crossbody. But yeah, this is such a cute vintage coach. If you're like a coach collector, like this is the piece. I feel like um like the made in Italy bags are so rare. I've only ever found a handful myself. I think I've only found like maybe three or four um, coach bags that are made in Italy. Like, the ones made in USA are rare enough, but Italy is like... So, this was a really exciting find. Really, really cute, too. And the leather is in such great shape, too, you guys. It's just a shame that it didn't have the crossbody strap, but that's okay. So, there it is. And... While we're on the topic of Kelly's, I have this little number and I know you guys are going to go crazy because if you guys um, did see my stories on Instagram, which is why you guys have to follow me because I'll put like kind of like behind the scenes stuff or like I'll post stuff that I find like right when I find it so you don't have to wait for the videos. Um, and also I post stuff on there when I like I post like um, things in my shop. I know you guys are like always asking about that kind of stuff also. so. Definitely add me on Instagram because this I don't know if I'm going to keep it in the collection. It's really Really pretty though, and I love the gold and I love the red and I love the Contrasting white stitching. It's so pretty and it does have the long strap as well And I am just like so over the moon with this bag. It's so pretty and the leather is like pretty nice as well. It's in really good shape, so yeah. I don't know, a lot of you guys have been asking about it, um, <laughs> and I don't know if I want to sell it. It's really gorgeous. I don't know. I know it's like not real, but it's so cute. I love, I love the Kelly style bags, and they, this one is really, really pretty, but Remember that other red one that I found, but it was like um, Vintage Roots from Canada? That bag was amazing too, and it was like a really large. It was like a larger size. This is definitely a smaller, probably like a 30, I think. 30? Yeah, so really, really cute. There's that. So I have my two Kelly style bags. And then, there is this really cute double zip. Prada Safiano. Now this one, I'm pretty sure, is not authentic. Cause I don't think I could, I didn't, I couldn't find like all of the authenticity markers for it. Though it does look gosh darn good. Yeah, it doesn't have the little tag inside, like with the little number. But either way, it's a Beautiful. It's in like a um, a cream colored Safiano with gold hardware. I know it's coming off a little bright on camera, um, but it is so 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 cute. And it doesn't have the longer strap, but you can easily just attach one 
and use it crossbody or on your shoulder or you can just use it top handle like this which I think is a really really cute regardless so really really fun bag right here now I have one last bag to share with you guys and this one is authentic and it is hold on I want to like I was like looking at it earlier just like opening it up and looking through everything but I want to close it up while I share it with you guys and it is this beautiful Prada messenger bag it's a nylon one and it's in brown but it is beyond gorgeous and this one is authentic it's so beautiful I think I'm I, <laughs> this one I think I might keep from the collection um just because I do love a good messenger bag and this one is very like um this is very this is something like I would like very much use in my day-to-day -day life and I love it because it's so light I don't have anything like this like I don't have any nylon bags like this pretty I think all my bags are leather yeah so this would be like my first like nylon bag and it is a Prada and it's so gosh darn cute so I like it so 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 much it has a zipper across the top which is really nice and this bag was $25 and then the buckles are a little annoying because you do have to unbuckle them. But what's great about this bag is that you don't necessarily have to buckle them because the main compartment does have a zipper along with the two open pockets in the front. So you can really just have it flapping around like that and then it's totally fine. Like this is almost purely just for like decorative reasons. But you can definitely um, buckle it up if you want like that extra... Um, like security especially like if you're traveling or something you can like buckle it up and then have the zipper and everything all like done up so then you can make sure that no one can steal anything from inside your bag but that rounds out today's haul thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me i hope you guys had a blast at the store let me know down in the comments below what your favorite thrift stores are um i've been wondering that because people always ask me if i only exclusively go to like the Goodwill. Um, I love the Goodwill. It's like one of my favorite stores here. And I do love Crossroads and I do love Buffalo Exchange though. I feel like some people don't necessarily consider them really thrift stores. Um, some people consider them kind of like consignment, but I don't know. <laughs> I still consider them thrift stores though. I, I know um, Buffalo Exchange, I don't think they do consignment, but I know that um, Crossroads does do consignment. So they will buy stuff and then they also consign. So if you like have something that you want to like bring there to consign, I think they only they'll take 10% of like whatever you price it at. And you can price that whatever you want. So um, there's that option as well. So if you don't want to just like sell your clothes, because if you sell them, they you, they sell at a much lower price. And but if you want to consign, um, they'll do like I think it's 10%. Um, and I don't think Buffalo Exchange does that. So uh, that rounds out today's video. Again, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Hope you guys had fun. Um, if you guys did, don't forget to subscribe so you'll be updated for more videos. And I do post videos every single day. I love you guys immensely. I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Bye! Okay, you guys. So I just found these Valentino Garavani shoes in red. They're like the Rockstead. They're a size 37 and a half. I don't know if these are real. I mean, they have like those protector things on the bottom. So like that, it's like something that might make them real because they have like the protector things. And I don't know, they look pretty good. Just a little worn. But I mean, they're 10 bucks. I 